Hey, where are you going? Um, nowhere. Just going outside. Hee <laughs> hee. You're not going out to see that girl, aren't you? Um, uh, no. I'm not. I just want to go out for some fresh air. That's all. Come on. Tell me the truth. Okay. Fine. I am going out with her. But what's wrong with that? Do you not trust her or something? Look. Just be careful around her, because sometimes when I'm not there, you get hurt. Just be careful. How will she hurt me? She's not that kind of person. Just stop being worried or overprotective. Jeez. What's wrong with him? All I said is that he needs to be careful. I feel like he's mad at me or something. Oh. Hi Betty. Nice to see you again. And, um, why that look on your face? What happened? It's just about my older brother. He thinks you're going to hurt me when you're not. He's sometimes a little worried about me going alone while he stays at home. Maybe because he didn't get to know me better, and he's just doing that to keep you safe from other people that does bad things. I know it can be hard, but you have to get used to it. I guess you're right, but anyways what should we do? I'm trying to think about it. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you remember Aiden? Aiden? Isn't he that glowing shadow that has a rose in his shirt? And had a crush on you and spilled coffee on my head all because he got jealous? Yes. And we could go hang out at his house. And I also told him to apologize to you in the time he apologized to me. Shall we? Um, sure, I guess. Are you saying that you left him behind with a bunch of roses? How did you even get the power to grow flowers? Look, he said something that hurt my feelings. I don't want to talk about it. And I don't even know how I got the power to grow roses, but I feel like he already found a way to get out of the roses, and he is probably running away to get revenge on me, right after he was being flirty towards Tracy and Tiffany, which is one of Vivian's younger cousins, but can we just talk about this later? I'll get it. Oh, hi Vivian. Come in. Hi Aiden and Adrienne, it's nice to meet you both. It's very nice to see you too. And I see you have your friend here, what's his name again? I'll introduce myself, my name is Biddy, and it's very nice to see you Adrian. Vivian told me that Aiden wants to apologize to me, does he? Oh, um, yes, I'm very sorry for spilling coffee on your head. I know it was a terrible thing I have done, but at least I changed my ways. Will you forgive me? Well. I didn't like what you did, but since you changed your ways, yes, I forgive you. Okay, good. So, what do you guys want to do? We thought we could hang out. We could watch a movie with some snacks. Can we? Sure. We can. I'll hang up some popcorn and bring some snacks, and Aiden will decide what movie we should watch. I just don't know what's wrong with him. He sounded mad when he was leaving, all I said is that he needs to be careful, can you believe that? Maybe because he's going through, you know what I mean. And you probably didn't get to know the girl better. But anyways, I have to go now, bye. Since he's gone, I'll go check in his room, to see if he's hiding something. Huh. What's this? A diary. I don't remember buying him this. Oh no! He better not be doing what I think he's going to be doing. I have to find him. Maybe I know where he is. Um? Who are you? That's not important. But anyways, do you have a little kid who is wearing a purple dress and a purple ribbon that lives here? Are you talking about Vivian? Um? Yes. And I have a little brother who sometimes go out with her. Is he in your house by any chance? She is. No wonder she goes outside too long, but no. He's not here because I don't even know you or your little brother, we just met. Can you just tell me your name? Wow. I like this movie. It's my favorite. I agree. It's my favorite too. I'll get it. Oh. Um. Hi. Hi. Um. Adrian, is Vivian here? And is my little brother here too? Hold on a moment. Vivian, one of your uncle is here. And Betty, your older brother is here too. Should I tell them both of you are here? No, don't tell them.
because we know what they are going to say when they take us. No, they're not here. Are you sure? Because we heard you whispering to someone, and the whispering kinda sounded like Vivian. No, no, no. She's not here, I promise. Hey, I can see them right there. Yeah? You're right. Okay, okay. Yes, they are here. I knew it. Vivian, get over here with your, um, friend, right now. Okay. Bye, Aiden and Adrian. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye. Huh? What happened? Why are they leaving? I don't really know. I'm guessing they just had to leave. Vivian? You said you're just going outside, not to be with someone, who's this kid? And do you come home late? I, 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 I can explain, but can we just go home and talk about it? You have some explaining to do. Hey, where are you going? Don't be like that. Um, am I in trouble? Yes, yes you, you are. are. But why am I in trouble? All I did was go over to Aiden and Adrienne's house to watch a movie. What's so bad about that? It's not about you going to Aiden and Adrian's house. It's about the kid that we don't even know about, and the guy who was at the front door told me everything. You've been hanging out with him, every time you say that you're going outside. When you say you're going outside, we thought you mean you're going at the backyard, but you go out instead, no wonder who come home late. Where did you meet him? And why the heck does he look like a bum? This is the first time that you're in trouble, Vivian. This is unacceptable. This is the first time you're in trouble. You have lots of explaining to do. Tell us. Right now. It's not what you all think. He's just a friend, not my, you know, lover. And I don't get what's the problem. The other little ones always go out. It's like you all don't want me to go out anymore. All that I'm saying. He's just a friend. Please believe me. Really? He's just a friend? Everyone always says that excuse, just tell us the truth. I would, but, you guys are going to put a stop to this, and, you. Huh? Vivian, are you okay? Are you tearing up? Nothing. It's nothing. Oh come on Vivian. You've been sad or upset every time something comes up, don't cry. I hate all of you. What did you say? I hate all of you. What? Vivian. Don't say that. We know you're upset, but you can't say something rude to us.